Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. This is Modifiers in 3ds Max. Today we are going to discuss about the FFD modifier in 3ds Max. Now what is FFD? The full form of FFD is Free Form Deformer. By this name you can easily understand that you are going you are have a you know, capacity to deform any object or any geometry in a free form way. So that is the uh, main thing about freeform deformer and you have to understand how you are going to use it. Okay, so if I select any geometry and move on to the modify list and if press F, after face extrude you can see there are one, two, three, four, five kind of FFDs are out there. First one is FFD, FFD 2 into 2 into 2 FFD 3 into 3 into 3 and FFD 4 into 4 into 4 and later on we have two un more FFDs that are, that are FFD box and a cylinder. So let's start with the FFD 2 into 2 into 2. So immediately you can see you can have a bounding box kind of thing that will cover the entire uh, your object. Now what is this a uh, freeform deformer now if you first look at this uh, parameter you'll see one display options one is a uh, lattice and also the source volume so if you switch off the lattice you will only see the points which will actually joins the lattice form so i'm not going to uh, you know switch off that the way to deforming these things are lies on these options as control points now by selecting the control points you just select the control points and you can change the formation of your object now by this by this way you can actually deform your object according to your requirement by scaling this or shifting this control points and in a very small amount of time you can make a small egg shaped object from a sphere that's how you can easily you know manipulate according to your requirement or according to your plan to deform these objects now let's see how you, uh, the other options uh, can uh, help you out the most important one was uh, the control points Another one is the lattice if you want to select this and you can you know you can move around this you just change this formation from lattice to you know from the undeformed object to a deformation object and you can really animate this by auto keying on and you just uh, put over there and after a few frames you can switch to there and there way you can have your formation being made by animating this entire effect so that's a way you can uh, edit this and also use it in very small and very nice effects now what are these options now deformation value only in the volume or on the vertices that you you have to understand whether you are going to use it in volume or in a in a vertex based the control points you can reset those control points like this and you can delete the animations from here and reset them also there is another option called to conform the shape this is a very basic one to win to do into two and this effect will be uh, usually effective you know and and if you are in a higher uh, number of control points so if I move on to my next FFD which is 3 into 3 into 3 will be okay fine so now this one is a very uh, similar one the same options are out there but I have left the conformed shape option for this one or even it will be better looked in the, a later one which is FFD 4 into 4 into 4 
now you have your control points like three one two three one two three and one two three so three divisions are out there from x y and z both the axes or the directions so that's why you say three into three into three and if you use conform to shape now you can see that this control points trying to get on the surface of your uh, object and it's absolutely uh, up to you up to your object you know kind of uh, uh, object you are actually uh, want to uh, you know deform and way you want to create the deformations that's how you can use the conform to shape to really put on the surface the uh, the control points to put on or oh, just over the surface to uh, you know uh, make the deformations correctly okay like the FFD 3 into 3 into 3 you can have the same options almost into 4 into 4 into 4 this is nothing but just increasing the number of uh, control points um, uh, to have your oh, you know increase the number of uh, controlling points and you can uh, select the control points and you can have your uh, you know deformation right away okay so the next FFD is the box this is pretty much interesting because here I can set my number of control points to this FFD now let's suppose I use 4 into 2 into 2 and that's way you can abolish the other uh, you know uh, FFD controlling points from the uh, from the sides and so as you have your selective control points oops okay you can have your control points has been uh, selected now what is just happened uh, let's let's go through the extra attributes that we we can have in in, in this uh, you know FFD control points now we have the one is called tension and continuity uh, by default values is 25 to 25 and now what is the tension over here now <coughs> If we select the control points, oh sorry, I if we increase the increase or decrease the tension, you can see it's try to you know uh, it's try to fill up the the area the control points are, uh, are into. So one it's actually expanding its own volume or if you decrease the tension you can see it's just shrunk so as like those control points are pushing these uh, surface into inwards to uh, to maintain the to maintain the tension so that's why uh, you can see uh, you can use this tension to deform in a different way by default is 25 and that is the default value to maintain its uh, uh, basic volume and the continuity is uh, pretty interesting and uh, it will uh, definitely uh, gonna need you while you are creating any uh, deformation uh, through this FFD box now if you select this um, control points and if you pull by seeing the wireframe view you can have that these uh, sections has been drawn for their own territory like these four and these two areas are actually been divided into these uh, uh, control points like if you pull this this have some uh, effects on other areas also like if you pull this to the outer way you can see this these vertices is as usual uh, uh, affecting but also the vertex of this middle area also been affected so what if I really don't want to affect this uh, vertex that way you have to make decrease the continuity level to zero and now if you pull you can see only this part of the uh, vertex has been affected by pulling these control points not the middle one whereas in the same way if we increase the value to highest which is a 50 and you can see it's a, it has a much more effective 
thickness in the middle portion of the other area which is not in its uh, territory level so that's why you can uh, maintain the deformation or deformation uh, you know process to uh, following uh, surface areas also like if I move this this will also move and if I move this 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 uh, left part also will move so that is absolutely up up to you sorry up to you that whether you really want it to this continuity move on or not so I just uh, get back to this okay so this is the two options that is uh, really uh, important another one is the selection levels this is uh, this is also another important part because um, if you switch on the selection all X now if you select one single point single selecting points now automatically the other control points towards this points X axis will be selected like if I select this control point this control point is uh, within the X axis of this uh, selection points so that's why sorry the control points so the that particular axis will be automatically get selected now this one is these uh, other three is on the Y axis so first I switch on all Y and then I select this particular joint I uh, sorry particular uh, control points so you can uh, see the all the control points has been selected which are on the Y axis same as if I select this one and before that I have to uh, I just switch on the all Z and select you can see this one or the Z axis one will be automatically get selected it's not only work on the positive side it also work on the negative side also it's the negative side of the Z so that's how these selection modes are actually equal because these uh, these are very important when you are you know selecting in a very high amount of uh, uh, selection handles or the control points so all Z and angle you'll have this entire row been selected tick okay so that's how uh, the all selection modes has been work on the rest of the options are absolutely uh, you know um, same now I have already increased this um, uh, control points so now if you go to the conform to shape you can see it's been offset to uh, points one and if I hit conform you can see it shrink onto the surface so that it will exactly on the surface over just over the surface so that uh, you can have your uh, deformation according to your requirement of that particular uh, surface area you don't have to bother out the uh, you know a cage like surface it's an absolutely over the uh, face or the uh, you know the geometry uh, geometry shape so that uh, you can pull it up and uh, it's almost like uh, effect like in vertex so that you can uh, actually use so that is the uh, confirm to shame I can reset all and I'll just uh, get back to my uh, uh, FFD box option okay now the next FFD is the FFD cylinder the same thing everything is absolutely same just the shape the basic shape of a, a just cylinder so uh, it's absolutely uh, up to you how you can uh, have uh, which one you want to use according to your requirement you have to choose this and you have to be very very careful that whether you are using um, uh, not you know bigger amount of uh, FFD or uh, sorry the control points or y you are not using also the lesser amount of uh, control points well so so you have to make it very clearly that uh, whether you are want really the uh, you know the basic FFDs which has been given uh, the number of uh, you know the control points and or else you want to customize your selections and the number of control points you can have your FFD box or the cylindrical shape you want to use so hope you understand the use of the FFD and thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and our like our Facebook page and Twitter to stay update in um, you know tutorial new tutorials upcoming and 
uh, hope you are enjoying this thank you very much